ating gabi po sa lahat ng mga kapatid natin, sa lahat ng dako ng mundo. Ito naman si 42nd Generation na kahit unti-unti uh, panagsa at nandito pa rin tayo dito sa isla ng Buhol. Kumusta kayo lahat? Shoutout sa lahat ng mga kapatid natin, sa lahat ng dako po, sa Manila kay Pastor Tony Belen Weba, kumusta kayo lahat at sa mga kasama natin diyan? Kumusta ang lahat ng mga kaibigan natin sa Malabon? Kumusta kayo diyan? Uh, para malakas ang hangin kay Brother Edwin Bigay at saka kasamahan natin diyan mga kabataan, mga Kaibigan natin sa Malabon, kumusta kay lahat dyan? Shout out to Kitko Tamora at saka sa Singapore, kang uh, Ma'am Jima Rilin uh, Kabatos, uh, ka Brother Rino, kang si Jean at saka kang Balong, kumusta kayo lahat? Kang Brother Joseph at saka kay Brother Darin na... Uh, Ingat kayo dyan palagi sa Singapore! Shoutout sa kaibigan natin na sa Israel, si Peron Gibuni. Kamusta uh, kayo lahat dyan? At saka sa brother Johnny Dennington po sa USA. How are you, my brother? And uh, to all, all our pastors, to all our uh, national chaplain of the Philippines, kang Bishop Ruel Alcain, at saka sa may bahay niyang si Ma'am Jubit Alcain, kumusta kay lahat dyan? <laughs> Shout out sa atong mga kaisunan, si Ma'am Rita, at saka si Ma'am Ani, kumusta kayo? At saka si uh, Nanay Bising. Uh, Shout out to Ricky, at saka... Samahan niyo dyan na uh, kumusta kayo at saka shout out kay Brother Edwin Ampo ang kunsihal sa Kurti Salvador <laughs> Shout out sa lahat ng mga kapatid natin sa Talibon Pastor Rodrigo Balintos, Chris Balintos at Tubigon, Pastor Mubigay sa Carmen at saka kay Banji at saka sa lahat ng mga kaibigan natin na uh, kagawad Uh, Junjun Curtis Musta kayo lahat dyan Mga kaibigan natin no? Kay Daryl at saka Gia sa Melbourne Kumusta kayo At saka sa lahat ng mga kaibigan natin dyan Kay Chelo sa Valencia At saka sa Kay Ma'am Trusi Kumusta kayo lahat dyan Tatlong, uh, pitong araw na na wala tayong PLDT po. Hindi uh, ko alam kung bakit <laughs> nawala. Naka, up to date naman ang bayad natin. Set out kang Bishop uh, Ipren Curtis sa ministerial... President sa atin in im team tagbilan City po kay Brother Juron Cortis Cortis shout out kay Pastor Joe Antipuesto at saka sa lahat ng mga kaibigan natin sa ministerial po im team ang Doc Bon Mercado at saka sa may bahay. Kumusta kayo dyan, mga kaibigan natin? Palaging ingat kayo. Delikado ang sistema at saka sitwasyon natin. <laughs> Mahina talaga yung in, yung, yung infek, infection mga ison or affected pero gumagapang pa rin <laughs> si virus po. At saka hindi ito ma... Stop. Kahit dalawang taon, tatlong taon, apat na taon Patuloy ito eh Nakalaan to sa The scriptures 
Sabi ng the scriptures may son, the earth is in vanity, the earth is in corruption, and this is the hands of God. May mga kailangan maunawaan natin na this earth is controlled by the flesh. And if you are controlled by the flesh, then you are son will be infected by this corruption unless your mind will be open that you are created in the image of God so dito ngayon sa gabi may son tingnan natin yung anong last Sunday uh, pinag-aralan natin yung Hebrews 3 1 to 6 no? so there are two captains of salvation Moses and Christ so Sinabi ko na there are at least five contrasts in Hebrews 3, 1-6. to Ang pangaral natin last Sunday is Moses builds material house, but Christ builds a spiritual house. Moses' house was a temporary pointing toward, and Christ's house is the final reality. And we are the house of Christ. We are the farm of God. We are the inuma ng Dios. He planted His attribute to us because He created us in the Spirit. So Moses is a servant of the house, but Christ is a son. Christ was before the creation of the world. Jesus born before the cross. 4 to 6 BC, he was born through Mary and Joseph. So, kita natin si Moses ang nagserbisyo po sa lahat. Siya ang propeta. Moses is a participant in Christ's house. Kasama siya sa pagawa o sa Putay, no? Sa nangyari. But Christ is the son and ear and is the final reality. Christ is the ears of everything. Mga kaigsonan. And he exercised lordship of the house. Siyang gino babaw sa balay and we are the house of God. So Moses' work is completed and only testimony remains. Mga testimonyo and Christ's works continues and He ever lives to reign over the, His house. Until today, He is the one living. You are not of your own. You are bought with a price. Christ lives in us, mga kaizon. Mga nga... He ever lives to reign over his house and minister to his people. He does that work with perfect faithfulness. If you will not believe what happened today or nowadays, mga kaigsoonan, you will be rotten. Jesus told us, you will die in your sins. Unless you believe that I am he. You cannot go. I will go and you cannot come with me and you will die in your sins. So if we remain in the flesh, if we remain in the senses, Maison, you'll be full of anxiety, worry, because Christ will be glorified at Calvary and He, he will become Christ. Spirit. Unless we believe that He become Christ. Mga kaisonan, bili yunta makasurvive. So at Hebrew 3.6, the author of the leader of the Hebrews is led by God to give his second warning. Hebrews 3.7 to 14 and 4.13 is the development at the warning. There's a warning. And if there was punishment for not responding to God's will via Moses, through Moses, makes on. Huwag mag nakatuman na ito. Huwag mag maka establisar chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 there's greater loss for not responding to the grace of God in Christ we are not in Christ be careful mga kaizonan that you need to understand the rightly dividing the word of truth 
You need to know the before the cross and after the cross. Before the cross is Jesus. What? He born under the law. He was born to the woman under the law. He owns the state, but he has no power because he is under control by the school master. He is before the cross. He, he was glorified. He died on the cross. And the Bible says that God made him Christ. Gihimo siyang Kristo. Di siya apelido ha. Dili apelido ni Jesus ang Kristo. It's different. It's different mga kaigsonan. Dili apelido. So then si Jesus, buhi pa. He, he was ministered by Mary Magdalene. The intimacy was very close and he poured out the alabaster box. And face to face, Mary encounter Jesus. Gitawag na EGR, God's Encounter. Pero, pagkabanhaw yun ni, ni Jesus, ng mawang Kristo, wa na kaila. It's different countenance. Mga kaigsonan, kita mo, dipinsa mo na, nga kaila dyo kang Jesus. Pero, si Maria Magdalena, nga face to face, kita mo, takakita ni Jesus. Dugdungan rin mo na ito ah. No? Dungan na ito sa mga wali. Pero si Maria, face to face. Pero pagkabanhaw yun ni Jesus, nahimo siyang Kristo, wala siya kaila. Sa sir, kung yung mong gikuha, ang mong master, ang mong ginoo, kung asa na may gibutang, tuguan ni ko, kaya kung kuhaon. Wala niyo siya kaila. Nagatubang sila mga kisunan. Mayingon si Jesus tao, noy Maria. <laughs> Pangita ni mo ang mga buhi dinis, mga patay. Wala na siya dari. Nabanhaw siya. Nagkating, lungong siya stingog, pamilyarize niya tayo, isya rabunay. It's sir. Diha pa siya nakailay, John. Kita. So, kita mo, dipinsa nga nakailay kita, pero... Mga kay Son, nambut lang ka. No? Pero kung adun ay problema, punishment, responding God's will, via Moses, kay atong giparihara ang Jesus o Kristo, gihimo na itong apelido ang Kristo, niya mo patuot ang nakaila ta, pero wala yun tayo personal relationship tungod kay ang Kristo na himo mga espiritu, ang Jesus na himo mga espiritu, na himo mga Kristo. There is greater loss for not responding to the grace of God. Nagunaw na mga tanga ang grace is on license to sin, no? Grace is not a person. Grace is not a curriculum. Grace is. Grace is not a subject. But grace, sorry, dahil na sa'yo, sipiat ko ganyan. Grace is a person. Persona siya, ang grasya. And grace is Christ. Mga kaigsonan, to the grace of God in Christ. So if Israel disobey God when being led by Moses, mga Igzon, then there is a danger that the writer's own generation or the Jewish people or the Jewish Christian might disobey God when being led by Christ. So the section unfold as follows, mga Igzon, in chapter 3, 1 to 6, the captain of salvation, which is Moses and Christ. In the citation of the scripture, mga Igzon, Hebrews 3, 7 to 11, and Hebrews 3, 12, 4 to 11, exposition of the scripture, failure of the wilderness generation. Pakyas ang mga taos kamingawan. Hebrews 3, 12 to 19, the nature of the rest, ang kahimtang sa pahulay. Efficient, no, Hebrews 4, 1 to 5, an appeal enter. An appeal, my son, is enter the rest today. Mana nga, importante kay son, karong Domingo ha, ang ating isgutan, kining warning from the wilderness, no. Niyata sa Hebrews 3, 7 to 19. So, atong isgutan ng previous study, considering the supremacy of Christ over Moses, no. Christ was the superior, not the not in faithfulness, but in his person and service. Moses was servant in the house. Ang his gutan kaniya. Ang Christ, however, is the builder of the house and serve as the son over the house. Siya ang labaw sa balay. Yung hinumdumi kita ang balay, mga isawon. Hebrews 6. Hebrews 3, 6. The writer of the Hebrews affirmed that we are the house of Christ. Itang balay. Ming si Paul, do you know that you are the temple and the temple of God? And the Spirit of God dwells in you? Huwag mo tanahon mga kaisonan ng Hebrews 3.6. Huwag mo ang klaruhon, affirm that we are the house of Christ. Itang balay. Mga 
mga kaigsunan, ang atong na unang kay mamatay pa man daw na ta, maka ipun si Diyos. Karun, kipuyan na tag Diyos. I will go and I will come back and live si Diyos. Mahimo mong ak, mahimo mo akong puloyanan. Si Pablo nag-ingon, You are not of your own. You are bought with a price. God lives in you. Your is temple. Templo tas Dios magay so referring to the church, which is the house of God. In First Timothy three fifteen, for in Christ we are now members of the household of God, and together with the faithful descendants of old, including Moses, we are now fellow citizens. In the Commonwealth of Israel, Ephesians 2:11 to 22. So, the status may exonan as the house. Ingon nga kita ang kahimtang nini nga balaita conditional ni siya exon. Those who are those house we are if. Anawa Hebrews 3:6. Those house we are if we hold fast. Kung mag-firm pa gali ka, maning kamot pa ka, nga ang imong kahimtang may isawin nga balay sa Diyos, mahimo kang, gihimo na kang balay through the blood of the Lamb, through the blood of Christ. Mga kaigsunan, gipalit ta niya, gihimo ta niyang balay, mga kaigsunan. We must hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm to the end. Hantod sa karapusan, mga kaigsunan. And the need of the steadfastness explain the exhortation in this epistle. Klaro kay mga kaigsoonan. So we saw the first exhortation in Hebrews 2, 1-4 is regarding the danger of drafting. Naanod kita. Wala ta mahibalo nga. Naanod na nita baliks balaod. Giluas ta, gihugasan ta. Nagpabilin kaya po nga itong una-una. Magsigi tagbalik-balik niya nang ginaingon nga. My sin covered by the blood of Jesus. My sin covered. No, that's the true mga kaigsoonan. That's old covenant way of thinking. Matod pa sa Biblia, Agnos di Katulis pikatamundi. Tanawang kordero siya siya nagwagtang. Wagtang ka na yung mga kaigsoonan. Wala na. Ayaw na pagtabuni ng nawagtang na Kung sa may mong tabunan nga wak na gani Ato nang gibalik-balik nga Gitabunan ng atong sala That's old covenant System mga kaigsonan So the need of the steadfastness Explain the exhortation of this epistle We saw the first exhortation in Hebrews 2 Regarding the danger of drifting Nagbalik Mito utas grasya pero Nagpabilin ta sa balaon. Nga naman, we are still performing. Nga nang kamot pa ka. Gibalaan ka na, maning kamot pa ka magbalaan. Gihigugma na ka, mangayo ka pong gagugma. Gipanalangina na ka, magsige ka ka pong panalangini ko. Now we come to the second exhortation regarding the danger of departing from the living God. Hebrews 3, 7-19. Bawa na niya itong isigutan na yun. To warn against the danger of departing, the writer appeals to the example of Israel in the wilderness. Verse 7 to 11. Israel hardened their hearts. Kung magmagahit na mga kaigsonan, muna, there is greater loss for not responding to the grace of God. Kaya nagunawa na matang ang grasya, makapakasala. No grace. Nagtudlo ang pagabalaan ng grasya, mga kaigsoonan. Grace is Christ. So, this quotation, mga kaigsoonan, in which the Holy Spirit warned Israel not to be like the fathers in the wilderness, warning which the Hebrew writer found just as necessary in this day. In the wilderness, the Israelites had hardened their hearts, mga kaigsoonan, in revealing against God. And tested and tried with God their lack of faith. What is problem? Madugay na tungo perform. Kapuyon nunta. Yeah, mana nga mahaya na tungo ginoo, mahaya na to ang to silingan, mahaya na to atong founder, mahaya na to atong mga ikson. Puro pagmahay. This mga ikson and it many times during the forty years of wandering, but especially at the beginning with the incident of Masa or tempted. Mga kaigsoonan in Meriba 
There is contention in Exodus 17, 1-7. Toward the end, with the incident at Cadiz, Numbers 27, verse 14. And a cross-reference, mga kaisonan, is uh, Numbers 20, verse 1-13. to 13. So, the 4D did not enter God's rest. Wala yun sila makapahuay. Ang tanang mga performer, dili yun makapahuay. Unless we trust the finished work of Christ. Unless we trust the finished work of Jesus on the cross. And we will embrace the grace of God. God become angry with that generation in the wilderness for their persistent rebellion. Maka, pada yun nung pag kanunay, Muna ang Psalms 106, 13 to 33 is on. Klaro kayo, God's sworn and that they would not enter His rest. Numbers 14, 22 to 24. Of those over the age of the 20, when they departed from Egypt, on, and only Caleb and Joshua entered the promised land. So the rest, of which there were 603 and 548 men died in the wilderness. Why? Because of the hardening. Because they hardened their hearts. Departed from God which lead to rebellion. So in Tor Makaisonan, they feel short of the Canaan rest that had been promised them. With a warning from the wilderness, phrase on their minds, the writer then exhort his brethren by warning the danger of departing. Hebrews 3, 12 to 14. And there is need to be aware in these last days. Ang Diyos nagapanlihok na karon, may zonan. The first group that God destroyed is the group of Nemrad. When Nemrad tried to control people, mingo ng Dios, let's come down and confuse their language. Eh mga tao, ang yung ilang kontrolon, tao. Gidigusyo nilang tao, mga kaisonan. From the start. Sana nga, kung imong tanahon, sa Garden sa Eden, wala yun isulti sa Dios nga ulip no ninyo ang tao, inyong kontrolon ang tao. Mingo ng gino control the power of the air, best the, the face of the sea, and all that creep it on the ground, not men. Ang tao mga kaigsonan are palangga sa Diyos. Mana nga, be careful, a beloved can develop an evil heart of unbelief. Remember that the recipient of this epistle were. Holy brethren, matud pas Biblia. Kung tanahon, God spoke to the people in this. The Father spoke through prophets, through angels. Anya yang gisultian mga balaan, mga tao nga gipili, gitawag, gibuhat sa Dios sama giyud niya nga balaan. Holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, Hebrews 3 verse 1. Mga balaan, dili kay magbalaan pa mga kaisonan. Mabalaan no daw, baling ka mo ta. No, you are holy. Balaan ka, you are not sinner anymore. Kanunay, gabalik-balik na to na mga tag. Humble man ko, makasasala man ko, I'm just sinner, save my grace. Mingo si Paul, ngantos mga balaan. The royal priesthood, the holy nation, a peculiar people. The 42nd generation. Wala magbantay ta mga kaisonan because... The warning against developing a heart of unbelief presumes the real responsibility. So, does the believers can become the unbelievers? <laughs> Ang mga balaan, mga magtuto, mahimu bang dili magtuto? Mga kaigsonan, unbelief is produced as one is hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Sin is deceitful. Malimbungon ang sala, mga kaigsonan. Promising pleasure, promising powers, and prestige. So in the short term, that they may be true, but such things are passing, temporary. Gahom, temporary lang. 
Pag-control ni mo sa mga tao, giulipo ni mo mga tao, temporary rara, mga isoon. Muna sa kahadlok, sa writer, kining mga Israelitas nga mga nagtuo sa Diyos niya, ma, naanod na dahil ngadtos. Ngadtos sa, kuan, ngadtos sa balaod. Muna ang kining mga tao, ha, sukom ni sila sa pagkawala, pagbalik sa kahimtang mo perform. Muna ang mingo ng Mingon tao nang magsusulat nga ayaw niyo biyay ang panagtigom kay namiya na maning ubang mga tao no Ayaw niyo biyay mo that's old covenant first John 2:17 because of its deceitfulness it is easy to become hardened gahi og kasing-kasing paugat nga kasing-kasing to be stubborn and not heed to the word of God it happen mga kaisuan to Israel and it can happen to us in these last days So the consequences of unbelief is departing from the living God. Mana mingo si Pablo ang nagsulat ining writer in town nga ayaw niyo biya iyang panagtigom do. Pagtigom mo kanunay kay namiya man mo. So while believers remains in fellowship with God and the unbelievers can only depart farther and farther away from God. Mana bantayan yun nato mga kaisonan kaya delikado ang kahimtang sitwasyon the solution is to exhort one another maglingkunay kita mag mag uh, dinesigay kita it is how a beloved avoid becoming an unbelievers uh, mga kaisonan through mutual edification on a daily basis we can prevent the hardening and that comes from sin of deceitfulness So, kung imong tanawin mga kaisonan, an important part of such exhortation is our assembling together. Manang Hebrews 10, verse 24 to 25, For sick not, ayaw niyo biyae. We should certainly involve and assemble on the first day of the week. Manang magtigom ta, no? Magtigom ta, Exon, Acts 20, verse 7. So, but with a need for daily exhortation, should we be content to leave it? are assembling to one service week. So if we have the opportunity to assemble more open, we do. Okay, so even if it is only by phone or mana, na, social distancing, karo, na, na, webinar, na, na, Zoom, mana, uh, kining talang na hitabu, karo, this is not a joke, mga okay, so this is real, no? You'd seek to exhort one another in Dili. Oh, di ba ta? Bawal man ang magsiksikan kay nag-ana man po kataas. Matod pa ni Bill Gates nga bili ni Mundang. Lockdown will not stop. will continue. So our participation in Christ is conditional. May son, once again, we see the conditional nature of our participation with Christ and we are the house of Christ. Kita may balay sa Diyos. Kung sa ingon niya, kita may balay sa Diyos. If we hold the we hold the fast, the Confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm to the end. Hebrews 3.6 So we have become partakers of Christ. Kita o malambit. Part of Christ. Blessed and holy are those part of Christ. Part of the one resurrected. Part of the resurrection. Death has no power. Mga Ixon. Mana nga kung imong tanan when the believers become an unbeliever from the promise of the security and salvation there may be to be the believers are no longer practicing as believers those many warning remains faithful including in our Lord's day Revelation 20 verse Then. So the danger of departing from God is so great that the writer of Hebrews returning to a warning from the wilderness coming out my son. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Ayaw, pagkaya ang imo kasing-kasing. The example of Israel and the wilderness revi- revisited in 15, verse 15 to 19, mga kaisonan. So there's another appeal is made. The quoting again from Psalms 95 verse 7 to 8, the Hebrew writer applies the quotation to Christian that they need to hear his voice. We need to hear God's voice. Where in this in these last days? Before God speak to the prophets, na kinhang lang taglaing tao, musulti na to. Mohong-hong na to nga, oy. 
Kalamiton ka, hoy. Pero that's a wave, may zone humana na. Karon ang Dios nagigsulti sa mga anghel. <coughs> nagigsulti ang anghel kang Maria, nagigsulti kang Elizabeth, nagigsulti kang Joseph. Nobia unta si Joseph ingon ang anghel ayaw Joseph. Ang bata gila lang ni Maria lalang si Espiritu Santo. So the wave of the angel mga ison humana. Karon panahon na siya anak. God speak to us through his son. Sa iyang anak mga isonan man nga maminaw ta sa tingbu sa anak ang ang atong paminawon kay tao man prophet. That's past already. Ang anghel nga makigsulti nga mo na humana po na na ata ang katapusan may son we are in His Son the Christ. So the need for Christian to believe and obey if the case of Israelites who was Re, 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 revealing or kaning rebuilding on all those who come out to Egypt, of Egypt. Si Joshua o si Caleb Mragyoy nakalusot and true lead of Moses di still reveal. Bisan si Moses mo yung nag-guide nila nagtudlo nila rebuilding yan po. So we have mga kaisonan we have been delivered by Christ from the bondage of sin but rebellion still possible. Di tama mina o mga kaisuan In this case of these Israelites With whom was God angry 40 years Those who sinned And who died in the wilderness As a result of their lack of faith Ilang pagtuo po aman Sandig Mga kaisuan ang dili sa Diyos nga tinubdan sa tanang butang. So, shall we escape the great salvation? Shall we enter into promised rest if we disobey through unbelief? Okay, so, unbelief man na nga kanabi daw maggama kagusikag balik-balik kung pagkipasailo na sa unbelief. You insult the one who forgave you. Ingon siya consumatomis titilistay na tapos na gipasaylo ko na sa una ako na suko karon wala na I remember your sin umor o niya magsigi ka pa ipasaylo ang kalimta na niya ang imong sala mga kaisonan when the apostle Paul related some of this same experience of Israel and the wilderness he wrote now all these things happened to them as example and they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the ages have come 1 Corinthians 10 verse 11 May so on Gitagaan na tag-example Ganyan yung mga Israelites Ng gahi gulo Muna sa on na nasuko ang Diyos Sa mga tao Sa kamingawan Ngayon naman gahi Iman sila gulo Pero nowadays In our time Pingon siya Kamu akong katauhan Kamu akong pinalangga Kamu mga balaan You are holy priesthood A holy nation A peculiar To those who Believe the finished work To those who receive the finished work of Jesus and believe that Jesus become Christ, become sons of God. Ang muto lang sa finished work, ang mudawat sa finished work ni Jesus. Sa dihang mo trabaho pa ka, nga aron ka maluwas, maning kamot ka maluwas, you are insulting the one who do the work at Calvary. Ang makaya din ni mo, ang wagay ka. Tuman kag siya, mapakyas ka sa usa. Wow, bitang niya ni si Kristo aron matuman ang tanan siyang naghimo may son. Wala niya tabuni ang atong sala giwag tang niya. Ay sig balik-balik ang gitabunan ng imong sala sa dugo ni Kristo. Giwag tang gani Agnos di katuli speak ata munde. Mga igsonan. It is for our own admonition that we have such warning as that found in our texts. For the deceitfulness of sin is just as strong today. Ano kung pagdasig mga kaisonan? Believe to us Diyos. Sa una wala siya layo, pero karon mingon siya, dili ka na ko biyaan ni talikdan. I remember your sin more. Gihigugma ka na ko, gimahal ka na ko. 
Tyson, embrace, just embrace. Ang wali ni Jesus pagkabot niya, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Balik-balik na ko ni. The word repent is metanoia. Change your mind. Na you are forgiven. Ipasailo na ang imong sala. Wala na tabuni. Ipasailo na. Ang tinod, wala ka maghatag sa imong kinabuhi. You are not giving your life to Christ but because you can't give without or nothing. You're nothing. You're dead in Christ. But what? what's the reality? God gave His life to us. Ihatag niya ang iyong kinabuhi ng kinato. For God so loved the world that He gave His life to us. He came that we might have life. Siyang naghatag, dili kita, Ison. You are not giving your life to Christ. That's a lie. Christ gave His life to us. Ang iyong kinabuhi niya na to, sa itong sulod, mga kaigsona, nagtubo, kinigadaan na. O siya ang nagbalaan na to, ipresentar ta niya nga walay buling man sa ukunot. Ngan to, siyang amahan nga naman. Siyang kordero nga nagwagtang sa itong sala. Wala tabuni, giwagtang niya. Ako mga pag-ampo, Ison, nga masabta na to, kini. Wala na masuko ang Diyos kini mo. Gimahal ka niya. Gihigugma ka niya. Wala niya niya hinumdumi ang imong mga sala. O misaan siya nga dili ka niya biyaan ni Talikdan. Sa una, suko siya. Matod pa dres ka. Grabe ang kapungot si Ginoo. Pero karun, wala na siya masuko ni mo. Gihigugma ka niya. Gimahal ka niya. Walay sala. Bisa unsa ka ito. Sama sa alkitran nga dili. Wala niya matanggal. Mga isang gitanggal ganin niya. Wala nga Embrace the grace of God. Embrace what has done on the cross. Ang Dios na higugma kani mo ikson. Magampo kita kini ng Dios. Imong higugma ako mga kaigsonan. You love them very much. Thank you, Father, for your loving kindness and goodness and mercy to us. Salamat si mong kaluoy, si mong gugma ama. Lord, kini ng among pandemic dili ni matapos. Unless we understand that the only escape for this pandemic is the glorious sons of God. Unless we receive the glory, the remnant, the the holiness, pandemic can attack us. COVID-19 cannot can destroy the spirit, only the flesh. If we remain in the flesh, then we will be COVID and full of anxiety, full of worry. Ikaw ang Dios nga kay bulungan nga higugma kanamo og Ginoo Ama. Dalay gyud ni ikaw. Imong gipasaylo ang among mga sala, wala nay nabilin nga tikpi sa sala nga naa ka namo. Duwagtang nimo pinagi sa dugo ni Kristo. Once and for all, without shedding of your blood, there is no forgiveness. Salamat sa imong kaayo gugma. Salamat Jesus. Salamat Ama sa imong kaluoy. Salamat ni Kristo nga mismo nagpuyo sa among sulod. Amen. Ug amen. God bless you, brother. So, nakahumanta og 38 minutos o 32 segundos. Ang atong oras, alas 11.44 na.